Welcome to this short introduction to the Lean Transformation Framework. The Lean Transformation Framework, or LTF, was developed by John Shook to address how organizations and individuals can become more successful in using lean thinking and practice to transform. The LTF attempts to articulate five critical dimensions that need to be addressed when applying lean thinking and practice to a situation. Applying the LTF helps you avoid lean transformation failures by ensuring a balanced approach to the five critical dimensions. For example, if you put too much focus on process improvement through top-down lean tool applications or projects that are done to people by experts, then this approach will often disengage people from owning or sustaining any improvements made to the work. On the other hand, an overemphasis on the people aspects through lean certification, belts training or rolling out lean programs can be misaligned to solving the right business problems and slow in delivering the results needed. The intent of the LTF is very different. Instead of showing the tools and techniques used or even the principles of lean, it focuses on communicating the five questions you need to think about when embarking on a lean transformation for your unique situation. The five questions are fractal, like a snowflake, and should be used by everyone at every level in an organization to help them apply lean thinking and practice. The Lean Transformation Framework contends that successful implementation of lean thinking and practice requires change on five dimensions. Lean thinking has a point of view on each of those five dimensions, which can be developed through asking five questions. Question one asks, what problems are we trying to solve in relation to achieving your value-driven purpose? Lean always starts off with the customer asking what value we need to provide. This depends on the purpose of your organization. The question, what problems are we trying to solve, is fractal, like a snowflake. It equally applies to the whole organization, a team or an individual. Does your organization have a clear purpose? Do individuals have clear line sight of it and understand their contribution to that purpose? And what problems should they be tackling to meet that purpose? Question two asks, how do we do and improve the actual work? What changes in the work need to be made to solve the problem? This is also fractal, from an individual work level to a value stream level or to an enterprise value stream level. Have you understood and captured what the actual current state of the work is today? Have you analyzed the current state of work for ways and problems? Have you defined what future state needs to be and what steps and experiments are needed to close the gap between the current and the future condition of the work? Question three asks, how do we develop the capabilities we need? Having defined the work to be done, we now ask what capabilities we need to do and improve the work to provide the value. Capability development is needed on at least two dimensions, capability to do the work and capability to improve the work. Do you have the necessary capabilities? Have you defined them? What is your approach to capability building? How are you developing people at the same time as improving the work? Question four asks, what management system and leadership behaviors are required to support the new ways of working? The design of the management system activities and the behaviors needed is key to ensuring stability and making changes in the work by following the principle of plan, do, check, act at every level. They are also intrinsic to leaders supporting people in sustaining progress and making further improvement. Have you designed a performance system to ensure daily work is checked, maintained and problem solved back to standard? Have you designed an improvement management system to visualise, organise and prioritise activities to achieve your long-term goals and objectives? Do your leaders exhibit the needed behaviours to develop capability to do the work to solve the problems to achieve the value-driven purpose? Question 5 asks, what basic thinking, mindset and assumptions drive this change? The final question challenges our basic thinking or assumptions about how we do things and conduct ourselves every day. What is the gap on where you are today versus where you want to be? Do you understand the current basic thinking, mindsets, assumptions as well as values and grasp its impact on the organisation and its culture? What are you going to do to change the basic thinking and culture in the desired direction? 
With lean thinking, it's easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than think your way into a new way of acting. The more you progress with applying the lean thinking and practice using the five questions, the more your culture will change as an outcome. In summary, learn to apply lean thinking and practice correctly to your situation by asking the five LTF questions. Number one, what is the problem to solve and how is that connected to your value driven purpose? Number two, how do we do and improve the actual work to solve the problem to achieve the purpose? Number three, how do we develop the capabilities we need to do the, and improve the work to solve the problem to achieve the purpose? Number four, what management system and leadership behaviours are required to support the new way of working to develop the capabilities to do and improve the work to solve the problem to achieve the purpose? And finally, number five, what basic thinking, mindset and assumptions drive this change? Where are we today versus what we need it to be? Now we have learned more about the LTF and its importance in applying lean thinking and practice, what will be your next steps? We recommend you start by defining the problems you need to solve around your value driven purpose for your actual level of influence. Follow the PDCA process to identify the gaps in your current approach to lean thinking and practice around the problems that you need to solve. Further information and learning materials are available on our website, YouTube channel or by contacting us directly for help. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.